If I say werewolves, you probably think Eastern Europe. Strange Gothic castles, gypsy curses, Mojave Desert? They say a man who's pure at heart and says his prayers by night may become a wolf when the wolfbane blooms and the moon is full and bright. Well, out here in the desert, we don't have much wolfbane, but we do have moonlit nights. And it was one night in 1992, a man named Bob Scott was driving down Racetrack Valley Road in Death Valley National Park a road he had traveled many times during his numerous visits to the desert. But this night was to be different, and to him, quite disturbing and confusing. Relaxing and drinking a Diet Coke, he had just taken a swig when out of the corner of his eye, he thought he saw the reflection of a large animal's eyes by the side of the road. Thinking it to be one of the numerous coyotes that inhabit the desert, he slowed to get a better look and was surprised to see a much larger animal crouching by the road than he had first thought. Describing it as a huge wolf-like canine, he at first thought that's exactly what it was, a wolf. But he soon changed his mind when the animal stood up on two legs and began to run alongside his truck, exactly as a man would do on two sturdy legs and with its front legs held close to its chest but pumping like a marathon runner's arms. Shocked, he watched as the animal never dropped down to four legs, but instead ran past his truck on the passenger side before veering off and running off into the dark desert behind him, still on two legs. And that was the extent of his sighting. When I later asked him what he thought the animal could be, he replied, you tell me. Now, not having seen the creature, there's no way I could give him an answer, but I did some digging in the archives, and among the articles, with the usual suspects, I found something interesting, something that hits it right on the head. From a historical standpoint, some might suggest the animal sounds like a version of the skinwalker phenomenon a type of shape-shifting demon or witch that many Native American mythologies insist can still be found haunting the deserts of the Southwest. Although it seems to be primarily a Navajo tradition and more confined to Arizona and New Mexico. And people that believe in the chucacabra or goat sucker would point to some of the strange corpses and prints being found in the Mojave as proof of such a being. But a couple of older articles in the archives contain equally interesting, and some would say equally bizarre, theories. In the late 1800s, a creature variously dubbed the What Is It was reported to be stealing hogs and terrifying ranchers in the desert. Said to leave human-like footprints about the size of a bear, it could be in the running for the Death Valley creature, but to my mind, sounds more like your classic Bigfoot or Wild Man story. But the one that comes the closest, in form if not subject, would be this delightful article from 1943, The Werewolf of Palo Alto. A summary of reports in which up to six people had claimed to see a large wolf-like creature with a man's head running about the lonely roads out in the country. Even the deputy sheriff was called in to investigate, and after reviewing all the evidence, determined it was either a prankster in a suit or a large, unknown animal. A large, unknown animal. Well, that clears that up. Now. We are right back where we started, right? Someone saw something strange out on a dirt road one lonely night out in the desert. Just the kind of story we love. I'm M.L. Behrman. I'll see you next time. Hey guys, M.L. Behrman here. I'd like to cordially invite you to join the channel by subscribing. And if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. It really does help. Thanks.